Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie Designs bringing you another thrift flip video. So last week I was so excited. Things were starting to get back to normal. I was getting back to work. The baby went back to daycare. Well, this week, not one, but two hurricanes have come to South Louisiana. So one already passed. Um, luckily it dissipated into like a tropical storm before it hit. So we ended up just having like a nice day of day of weather and it wasn't bad but this second one that's heading toward us this week could possibly be a category three by the time it gets here so not good at all daycare is closed for the entire week and yeah <laughs> i mean oh so hopefully this one also like doesn't end up being as bad as it's, it's supposed to be but it's full-on hurricane prep around here actually i did all that because we didn't know this the first storm wasn't going to be bad so that's all taken care of it's not raining yet so i'm gonna go ahead and keep working but i picked out three i mean four easy flips this week that doesn't involve a lot of tools it's mostly just painting stuff i can do inside um and i'll uh, film some of the hurricane for y'all if y'all don't know what happens during a hurricane i'll show y'all hopefully it's not too bad but we'll see. Anyway, let's get to these flips here. So this is all from the haul video I did the other day. So if you haven't watched that one, it was really, really good. I found some good stuff. So everything I'm gonna show you today, I got um, over the weekend when I went thrifting. I have these set of four jars. They're very outdated. They're very yuck, like they need a good cleaning. But the plan is to chalk paint them white. And usually I make my own designs for all my stuff, but I did order something. I ordered these IOD stamps. I do love stamps because I find it gives it that very vintage old look. I will post the link to these. They are from the IOD company and I ordered them from Jamie Ray Vintage. So I'll link to her website uh, to get these. There's a bunch of other stamps. So if you aren't into like vinyl, I don't do vinyl either, but I do like hand paint everything. If you don't wanna do any of that stuff, if you don't wanna stencil, I don't stencil, I don't know how to stencil, um, stamps would be an easy thing to do. So I've never done this before, but I'm confident I can do it. And I am inspired by the inspiration pictures they have on the back. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna paint these things white and do these crockery stamps in black on here. And y'all, the transformation is gonna be amazing. I cannot wait to get these done. So that's project number one. Then I have these two very outdated little pictures, but the shape is super cute. I like the shape on these. And my idea for these is something new that I want to try. Um, I want to add some baking soda to my paint. And it's supposed to make it like thick and textured. I think I'm going to do it white. I don't know yet. Or maybe like an off-white. Not like a bright white, like a creamy white. And then see what it looks like and maybe even put a crockery stamp on it. I don't know. I hadn't decided, but I want to try this new painting technique and see how it comes out and we'll try it on these and y'all be able to see how it comes out too okay this is something else i picked up it's already sold and the person who bought it told me what they want to do to it so i'm going to make their idea come to life it's going to be painted white distressed and she loves the crockery stamps i've used these before and printed like a picture of them and you turn them into a label so that's what I was doing before I bought the crockery stamps. I was turning them into labels. So these stamps are too small for this, but she loves the crockery labels. So I'm going to print out a big label, put it on here. It's going to be cute. Like, I love the idea she came up with this thing. And, okay, these I already started. So I'll put some snapshots from my haul video of what these look like before. I started them last night before I had decided what four projects I was going to flip this week. But I bought these nativity scenes because I've been wanting to try and update them and see how they came out. And I figured this would be a great project to show 
because I'm sure a lot of people have nativity scenes that they like to set out, but maybe it doesn't go with the, the Christmas style that they're going for anymore. So if you like what I do, Sam, it's something you would be able to replicate at home. So this one is already chalk painted white. And what I'm gonna do is distress some of the detail back through and see what it looks like. So, I mean, if you wanted to leave it all white, you could, but I think it's gonna look great once I bring back some of that color. And then this one, I tried to paint it with the brush gray and it's really hard because there's so much detail. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray paint it um, gray. I have a darker gray, so I'm gonna spray paint that gray and I'm not worried about it being chalk paint. The great thing about chalk paint is you can distress it. It's hard to get that distress looked with other types of paint but I am not worried about it being chalk paint or not because I'm not going to distress this. What I'm going to do is put some white wax over it and that's how all the details will pop. And I think it's going to kind of look like cement. So I'm excited. We'll try those two techniques and see which one y'all like the best or maybe y'all like them both equally. But I'm excited to see how that turns out. So let's go ahead and get started before this hurricane comes. I sprayed this piece with my paint sprayer. I didn't edit or speed up this clip because I wanted to show y'all how fast I can spray a piece so you would know why I love my paint sprayer so much. It just makes everything so much easier and go so much faster and I just keep it filled with white paint since that is the one that I use the most. So I want to show y'all real quick, I'm having some of the same issue I had last week on the chest where I'm having some bleed through. This time it's the wood, so when you paint raw wood, sometimes the color of the wood will come like bleed through and have like little brown spots and stuff. So I'm going to spray a clear coat of Rust-Oleum, you could use shellac, whatever, any kind of spray sealer. I'm going to spray this on here, let it dry, and go back over with another coat of white paint, and it will be good to go. Then I use my orbital sander to distress the piece. I also use my sander anytime I can because it is so much faster to distress a piece using this orbital sander. I printed the label that I wanted to use on a piece of hard cardstock paper. You can print it on different colors, but I decided to go with white and then later on I'm gonna distress it. Um, I'm using Mod Podge to seal it to the wood and then I'm going to go over both the label and the wood with a coat of Mod Podge just to seal it all in place. I like to use the Waverly Antiquing Wax when doing this type of stuff but I have not been able to get any of it since COVID so I'm just using brown chalk paint and you're just going to kind of dab it on dab it off I'm just keeping it on the label just to get the effect that I want since that Mod Podge is already on it it kind of makes it easy to play with since it's already sealed so just play with it till you get the look that you like The piece is already painted white with chalk paint and I'm just using a wet rag to try to bring some of the color underneath through. It was really difficult to get it off I think because it was just so much detail so I tried to use a combination of sandpaper and a wet rag and then I end up ended up running the piece under some water and then wiping it and I was able to get some of that color to come through but it was very difficult to distress this piece. I painted this piece with gray spray paint. Spray paint was so much easier to get into details than using a brush. So if you wanna do this, I highly recommend a sprayer. 
Now I'm using Waverly White Wax and I'm just brushing it on and then I'm going to go back and wipe it off. And what it's going to do is it's going to stay in the details and I find when I use this on gray it gives it this cement look. Now in the end I do like how both of these looks came out however it is not something I'm going to do again because it was just too time consuming to make any money off of it. But if it was a piece I was doing for myself I would definitely use this technique again. I sprayed all four canisters using my sprayer and white chalk paint and then I sealed it with Rust-Oleum clear coat. So they've already been painted and they've already been sealed. Now I'm going to try out my new crockery stamps that I just ordered. I am just dabbing them with black chalk paint using a sponge and then I'm going to carefully put them down. And this is how it came out. I was really excited about it but then I thought I could do a better job with it so since they're sealed it's easy just to wipe it off I wiped it off with a baby wipe and then I used um, a magic eraser and it came right off and I tried it again and I did not like the way it came out and then I wiped it off and I tried it again and I did so many times and I was so upset because I was really excited about this now the stamps came with like this clear piece so I ended up attaching the stamp to that and using it to put the stamp on and that did work better but it was still hard to get it exactly perfect like I wanted and then I started using my face to push it down because then I didn't want to use my hands. It was lots of trial and error so then I went on YouTube and watch the video and I'm supposed to be using ink not paint and I think that's what the issue is so I got on Amazon and I ordered me a some black ink and we'll see how that works I absolutely love these stamps and I'm definitely going to use them again on a future video using the proper ink for it and see how they come out I've already decided I'm keeping this set I'm not selling it I just love how it came out it's adorable I'm putting it in my house I love it This next project was something I also never done before, so it was a little bit of trial and error. I'm just using some white latex paint. I wanted it to be kind of off-white, so I added a little bit of brown paint. Then I added way too much baking soda. I don't know what I was thinking, like you should add a little bit and then add more instead of adding too much because then it's hard to take away. So anyway, I had to end up adding water to it till it got to the right consistency. So next time I would definitely not put so much baking soda at the beginning. Um, I just decided to use latex paint because I didn't want to waste my chalk paint since I had never done this before. Once I had the paint to the right consistency, I started painting the pot and quickly realized this was not going to work out. I had mixed it with latex paint and didn't prime it or anything so it was not going to stick 
and it was probably going to take many many coats for this to cover it so what I decided to do was just wash it off and I went and put a coat of chalk paint on it and then I tried again chalk paint acts like a primer and once you have chalk paint on it anything else you put on top of it will stick to it so once the chalk paint was all dry I had a nice base coat and I started putting on the paint and I immediately loved it it looked so amazing it might be hard to tell on film but it was like this beautiful like texture and I loved it white because you know it was like this clean white look but then when you got up close it had like this beautiful texture I am obsessed with this look so since I filmed this video I've done two candlesticks and two more pots I am just loving this even though I got off to a rough start and it was a few learning curves I love it and I will definitely be doing this again on other videos because I want to try darker colors and stuff but you know what white sales I love white and I think I have to keep this piece as well that's how much I am in love with this textured look y'all definitely try this one out I'm obsessed I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please leave, leave me a comment and let me know what was your favorite project. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we had a hurricane headed towards Louisiana. Well, Hurricane Laura ended up becoming a total monster. It was a category four hurricane by the time it hit landfall and it devastated the city of Lake Charles, which is about three hours from us. We looked up and this was about the worst the weather got and we really didn't have any damage to our house. We just had some limbs down that were easy to clean up after. So we really looked up with this storm. Y'all please pray for Lake Charles, Louisiana and that we don't get any other storms this hurricane season. Yeah. 